and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. So today's Tech Tuesday is about a color that I mix up for the Candy 2O colors. The color I'm looking for is uh, kind of a slate black color. If you've used uh, Candy Black before from Candy 2O, which is just a standard black, it has a very red cast to it, almost up like a purpley cast to it, and I'll show you that in a second. That's great. Uh, sometimes I need more of a neutral black, so I'm going to show you how to get there. This could literally be a 15 second video. I could give you the formula, spray it and show you and that'd be it. But I want to talk a little bit about color theory, just a little bit, just so you can kind of get your own colors as you go and make adjustments. So let me show you what candy black looks like right out of the gate. Seems like a good start. Okay. Normally, uh, or always, you'd never just spray this stuff straight out of the bottle because it needs a binder. It's just the color, essentially. It doesn't have the stuff that helps it make it stick, but for this, we're just looking at the color so we don't have to worry about the way it sticks or anything. I'm just gonna spray it on paper as I get it everywhere. All right, <laughs> so this is candy black straight out of the bottle, or even if you mix it with 4050, it's gonna look the same. You see, it's got that red cast to it, which is really nice if that's what you're going for. Now. Candy colors are great because the more you build them up, the more intense they get, the, the darker they get, and they'll just keep getting darker and darker and darker. So as you spray this out, it becomes kind of a really nice black, but it's that edge color, that real thin color. See how red it is on the outside edge? That's what I'm looking for. Because whenever I have a fade, if I fade that out into, into another color, or if I just fade that out onto an image, you're gonna see all that red. So sometimes I want it just more neutral. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let me clear this out and uh, we'll get going. All right, so very, very simply, when you're adjusting colors, you need a color wheel. The color wheel will tell you what way to push the colors to get the color you want. So for me, I'm looking for something neutral and anything neutral is right in the middle of the color wheel. It's essentially a perfect gray right in the center of the color wheel. And the way you get that is you add the opposite color to the color that you're trying to get rid of. So in this case, now I've already done this. It takes some experimenting, which is a lot of fun. But for the most part, you just kind of ask yourself, what color do you see that you want to get rid of? And for me, it's red. It's kind of purplish, but more red. So knowing that, if I go directly across the color wheel, the opposite color from red is green. So I want to add green to kind of cancel that, that red. Now, the way you do this, I, I love these little plastic shot glasses they are super cheap but what's nice is you can see they're really clear so you can see right through them so for mixing colors for candies or, or automotive candies these are not solvent resistant you can't do this with uh, automotive paint because it'll just eat right through them uh, but for the water-based candies you can use these cups they're great uh, so they're crystal clear so you can see through them and I'll show you why that's important in a second again they're super cheap and <laughs> Can't do much with them, but can do this with them. So let's start with the black because obviously that's our base color. So I know the formula already, so I'm just gonna show you how, how I would come up with it. But I'm gonna put five drops. Four and five. Now you wanna keep notes of this when you do stuff like this because you're gonna develop this color and once you find the perfect color if you didn't write it down if you're like me chances are you're going to forget how many drops and then you have to start all over again and that's no fun so it's five drops five of black now again i know green is the color that's going to do it for me but i don't know how much green actually i do know how much green but when i started this i didn't way back uh how much green to add so what i do is i just go drop at a time so green is first so we'll do one drop of green and then just mix it up. These plastic cups are also good because they don't absorb the, the paint. So the plastic, like the little, um, not plastic, the paper cups, these are, these are okay, but they have seams in them and uh, sometimes, you know, they're, they're absorbent. So you put candy in this and it'll just kind of leach into the whole thing. So these are nice and inexpensive, but they don't work as well as these plastic cocktail cups. So the nice thing about these cups are as I'm mixing this, I can kind of drag the color up onto the cup and I can see through it 
and I can still see clearly that it's very, very red. So all right, so one drop isn't enough. So I'm gonna save you the aggravation of going one drop at a time and looking at each drop to tell you what the formula is for, for my slate black. And believe it or not, you would think, you know, you just adjust in the color slightly. It's five drops of green and five drops of red. It's equal parts of each. So that's, that's what the color comes out to be. And let me do that for you and I'll show you what the color is when we're done. So I need to add four more drops. One, two, three, four. There's one on the outside, which doesn't count. So if you see all that green in there now, you're like, no way, that's not gonna work. Which is fun because that's, that's half the fun of experimenting with it. You think it's not gonna work as you're adding one drop at a time and spraying it out and testing it. But in the end, when you're finally done, it doesn't matter what you thought it should be. It is just what it's gonna be. So equal parts of both. And this is emerald green. So it's black and emerald green for the candy colors. So I mix this up real well. Now you can do this with anything. If you have a color and it's too yellow, just add a little bit of purple to it. So you, again, it's, it's very minor color theory. All you have to know is what the opposite color is that you're trying to get rid of on the color wheel. And once you know that, then you can have fun with it. You can mix it up, literally. All right, so let's get this in the brush and I'll show you what this looks like. So this is what I come out with. You notice it's just more of a standard gray. It's not, it's not red, it's not blue, it's just gray. It does have kind of a bluish tint to it. Not really, but it fades more towards that cool black than obviously the, the reddish black that it comes out as. But I like this color as kind of a neutral black. So it just makes a really nice neutral, I call it slate black. Uh, and now, from here, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. Say you want it more green, you want a greenish black. From this point, now you can add a couple extra drops of green and make it a greenish black. Or if you add a few drops of blue, carob blue, then you can get a bluish black or whatever. You can kind of go nuts, add some orange to it and make it a real warm black. Uh, so th there are a ton of options from here, but it's basically getting back to, to neutral to, to start. What I normally do, if it's a color I use a lot, like this one, what I'll do is I'll mix up a separate bottle of that color. And that's what this is right here. Now this doesn't have 4050 in it or anything. It's just the candy colors. So that way now this will last in the bottle for a really long time. And if I need it now, I just add a little bit of 4050 and maybe some reducer if I'm airbrushing with it and I'm ready to go. So that's, that's how I get there. All right. So there's my very complicated Candy 2.0 Slate Black, and the ratio for you is one to one, and you're ready to go. So that is black and emerald green. All right, quick, dirty, and simple, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will uh, catch you guys on the next one. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing and leave me a comment, and uh, that will help me out a lot. All right, so for Steve Leahy and Tech Tuesday, you guys are the best, and I will catch you next time.